Hey friend, today I wanna to share with you how to play A Horse With No Name by America in five different levels. Now we'll start out with just using two simple chords and a nice basic strumming pattern. And then from there, we're gonna expand on it through five different levels and go from a real beginner sound to a pro sound. Now, if you are newer to guitar, this is a great song to start with because it just uses two chords. And if you've been playing a little bit longer, you're intermediate or more advanced, try some of these fancier rhythms I'm gonna show you at the end of this video. So let's get straight into it here. We've got two chords we need to know. The first one is E minor. And I play this just all six strings, open, two, two, open, open, open. Okay, E minor. Now the next chord has a fancier name. It's called D6 add nine over F sharp, but don't worry about that. It's, it's pretty easy to play. From here, all we're gonna do is just bring the middle finger up one string and the ring finger down one string. So they just split off directions there. I'm gonna play the second fret of the low E. I mute the fifth string, then open, second fret on the third string, open, open. And it's just a subtle move. You have like an E minor, and then you shift to this other chord, and then back. So we've got E minor to our variation, and then back. Now in the progression, the chords are gonna last one bar to start. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, switch, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This is the first level, so just practicing getting those chord changes moving and strumming right on the downbeat. Now by downbeat, I just mean the one there. I'm counting four beats in each bar and I'm strumming right on the one. So one, two, three, four, strum, two, three, four, one. Also recommend tapping your foot. A one, two, three, four, All right, that's the first level. Let's move on to the next level. And this starts to add a little bit more rhythm in the strum hand. We're gonna go from a whole note rhythm to now quarter notes. And quarter notes are played on every beat. Gonna get one beat per strum like this. One, two, three, four, a one, two, three, four, a one, two, three, four, one. So I do four strums on E minor and then switch to the next chord, and then repeat. Just trying to keep it steady. A one, two, four, a one, two, three, four, a one, two, three, four, a one, two, three, four. All right, so that's level two. Now, before we go on to level three, if you're new to the channel, I wanna give you a gift. I put together this awesome blues scale PDF guide, and on it I show you the five blues scale patterns that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And if you wanna start playing licks and soloing over this progression, just becoming more familiar with your fretboard so there's not any dusty mystery areas on it for you, grab this guide. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash bluescales. It's completely free, and it's gonna show you the five patterns that I use. From there, we're on the E minor. We had that second pattern with just straight quarter notes. Now the third level is gonna go like this. Okay, so now we're spicing it up a little bit. The first thing I wanna introduce you to here is a bass note strum. So instead of strumming all the strings like we did in level two, one, two, three, four, I'm gonna break up the strings. I'm gonna start by just hitting one note, the bass note, the sixth string there. Then I'm gonna strum the rest of the strings. So I'm gonna try not to strum the string that I just plucked as a bass note. So I keep them separate. I'm gonna go down, up. So it's one and two and. So this bass note is a quarter note, one, and then these are eighth notes, two and. And there's something about the eighth notes on this song I wanna tell you about. They are played with a swing feel. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So 
So the rhythm is gonna go bass, down, up, bass, down, up. So it's a two beat pattern. We'll play it twice in one bar to get four beats, and then we'll go to the next chord. So one, two, and three, four, and switch. Two and three, four, and one. Two and three, four, and one. Two and three, four, and one. So I did the same thing over the second chord. I just changed my fretting hand position, but my strum hand kept doing the same thing on autopilot. Level four is one of the most common strumming patterns of all time. And I often say if I had to pick just one strumming pattern to know, it would be this one because it works in so many songs. Here's what it sounds like. Okay, I'm starting out with a down strum on beat one. One and, then I'm going two and, on beat two, that's down, up. So it's down, my hand comes back up, but I just play air, and then down, up. Okay, so one and two and. Then on beat three, I'm gonna play air, and I'm gonna finish by up, down, up, on three and four and. And what I mean by playing air is my strum hand is going down, so I'm keeping this constant motion going, but I'm not playing the strings. I'm playing air. <laughs> One and two and three and four and down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now there's gonna be one of those patterns per bar since this is a one bar pattern. We'll go one and two and three and four and switch. I'll speed it up a bit. All right, so that is level four. Great job for making it this far. Let's take a look at the fifth and final level. Now this is gonna be just like what you hear on the recording, but it's a little bit more involved. We're actually gonna play a different strumming pattern in each measure. So we're gonna start on the E minor. It's gonna go like this. A one, two, three, four. So let me break it down bar by bar. We're starting on the E minor, but I'm using a technique where I split up the strings. I play like bass strings and then treble strings. It's just a great technique to use where you're adding dimension. And what I'm doing here is I'm going one and two and. Okay, so I'm playing the bass strings, then the treble strings, quarter note, eighth, eighth. One and two and, then three and on the bass strings, then four and on the treble strings. So one and two and three and four and. Just as a general tip, I often play the bass strings on beats one and three, and then the treble strings more on beats three and four. It's not always the case, but that's just a general guideline to follow with this type of technique. So one and two and three and four and. and it's really something called the backbeat where you have the, like the higher pitch. And I actually think about it like I'm a drummer, okay? If you play drums, and I'm a, I'm a terrible drummer, but, but <laughs> if you play the kick drum, that goes on beat one usually, and then the snare is on beat two, and then kick on beat three, and then the snare on beat four. So I actually think about that as I'm playing guitar, I think, like I'm, I'm a drummer, I'm basically playing the rhythm to the song. So one and two and three and four and, okay, that's the first measure. Now in the second measure, what I'm doing is I'm playing the bass strings on beat one, and then I play on the and of one and up strum on the treble string. So one and, and then I immediately rest and make it staccato. So one and, I do that by dropping my strum hand on the strings. And also I release the pressure over here in the fretting hand. One, and two, and three, and. Okay, so I got a little pattern there going. I'm 
do an arrest, then an upstroke, an arrest, then an upstroke. So one and two and three and four and then and four and that's up down up for the ending. So one and two and three and four and. Okay, that's what I'm going to play on the second chord. So combining that with the first measure, you get this. So there you have it, friend. That is how to play A Horse With No Name by America in five different levels. So wherever you are, practice that pattern and then try and learn the next one. Now, if you all want to see even higher levels, let me know. The actual version with this song has a number of layered guitars. One is in an alternate tuning, and then another one actually plays some more chords up the neck. So if you'd like to see a breakdown of that, let me know. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to grab my free blue scale PDF guide. If you want to learn to solo over this song, this is really going to help you out and just help you learn the neck, which is so important to do. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash bluescales and grab that as my gift to you. Thanks for watching, and for more America, check out this video next.